What is going on guys? It is Knives here and today we finally got our hands on some swishers. So I have been looking for these fucking everywhere literally since I started smoking. And you know, if you're American or Canadian or whatever else, you might be like, bro, why are you so excited about a pack of swishers? And it's because we can't get them over here. Like it's pretty easy to find backwards, but like swishers and other sort of shit that you guys smoke is just like, you can't find them. It's taken me like four years to find these, so I'm kind of hype. <laughs> so this is not the first pack that I've smoked, I'll be honest with you. I've had the Swisher Sweet Silver and the Swisher Sweets Diamonds. And uh, if I'm being honest with you, I was kind of disappointed, but we're going to clear that out of our mind and get to the classic Swisher Sweets. So let's just get into it. Packaging. Everybody and the mum has seen a packet of Swishers. Doesn't matter where you're from, you know what a packet of Swishers looks like. They're classic, they've got the red and white with the Swisher Sweet logo there. Two of them, and it says, warning this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical, but it's a cigar, so you already know that. We've got the socials on the back there. And it also says Swisher Sweet Cigar Company, Jacksonville, Florida, 32206, made in Dominican Republic, sale only allowed in the United States. So yeah, these were imported. And I got these from a place called Capnoco. Uh, they looked a bit dodgy to me, but they were the only place that I could find that was selling Swishers. So I took a gamble and it paid off. It turns out they are legit. So if you wanna go buy some Swishers, I'll put the website here, Capnoco. I'm not sponsored, they didn't tell me to do this. I just took a gamble on a website and it paid off. So if you do go and buy some swishers from them, tell them that I sent you. So enough talking about it, we're just gonna rip them open. It says 99 cents, two for 99 cents. I actually paid five pound for these, which is pretty extortionate, but um, you know, it's a treat. It's a once in a lifetime, well, maybe not one. One day I will go to America and I can do whatever the fuck I want and smoke whatever I want. But for now, this is like a um, a one-off thing that I'm not gonna be doing again, so yeah. Open them up. First thing I'm gonna do is smell them. And they smell weird. They don't smell like a pack of cigs or anything like that. I'm not familiar with like what cigars smell like because I don't smoke cigars, don't buy cigars and all that kind of shit. So it smells like tobacco, basically sweet tobacco, but it also smells weird. Like it doesn't, it's just not a very pleasant smell. Smell, I would give them like a two, maybe a three. Like it's not awful, but it's not, don't make me want to smoke it. So, Get them both out, two of them in a pack, and they literally, pack's gone behind the radiator, fuck. Um, two, of them in, two of them in a pack, fuck, I'm tripping over my words. Both look the same, and yeah, that end, tobacco, that end, tobacco. Looks like a cigar. Um, when I picture a cigar in my mind, I imagine obviously the big fat Cuban leaf wrapped ones and not these. These are not leaf wrapped. They're kind of, I don't know what you would call that, but it's more like a blend instead of an actual leaf. I'm not a cigar connoisseur, so I don't know shit. Don't judge me on that. I'm gonna break this open and fill it with weed. But before I do that, I'm gonna assume that this end, the circular end is the mouth end instead of the square end. So I'm just gonna, off on it and see what it tastes like. And it is really, really sweet. Like when I put my lips on it there, it's really fucking sweet. I understand why it's called sweet. The other two, the diamond and the silver, it was still sweet, but they weren't like as sweet as this. They didn't really taste like anything. I feel like this one's gonna be very, very sweet, obviously. But the taste like of the whole cigar is actually pretty nice. Maybe I'll save the other one and actually just smoke a cigar on video. We'll see. But yeah, um, the taste of it when it's like full, it's actually really pleasant. It tastes like um, kind of biscuity to me. A little bit like the 
Russian cream slap puts I did kind of half a video on a couple of videos ago. I'll link it anyway. So I've watched countless videos of how to roll these and I can do it, kind of. <laughs> Don't judge me, Americans that might be watching this video. But yeah, um, I'm gonna change the camera angle to try and show you how to do it, but I'm still learning myself. So yeah, let's go. So basically I'm gonna go from here and you just kind of get your nails and make like a tear and do it all the way along. Obviously have a tray underneath you or something to catch the tobacco that falls out. Oh, I can't fucked it up. Oh well, we can uh, we can make it work. We can make this work. You just kind of dump out the guts. Make sure to get rid of them all. And then boom, shell. I've found from the past four that I've smoked that you can't really fit too much in the swisher. So I'm gonna try put like a gram in there um, of this candy kush 1.09. And I also find that there's a big fat dog here attached to my finger quite often. No, um, I often find that um, with blunt, it's better if you break the weed down by hand. But I found with the past couple of swishers that I've smoked, um, that this just doesn't want to fucking grind up. Um, the last couple of swishers that I've smoked, it's better if you just stick the bud in a grinder. Um, it's just easier. You don't grind it like to joint consistency, but um, grind it enough. So that it's not like really chunky, but not stupid fine because it just helps it stay together better. So then I'm not gonna pour roach in this because it's not how the Americans do it. Just kinda, I've got so much dog hair just falling into my bud. So we're gonna be smoking like 90% dog hair blunt, but it's fine. And just put it in there like so. If you do see a dog hair, try and pull it out without pulling out all of your weed. Don't recommend dog hair blunt, zero out of 10. Just kind of shape it. I might have to throw a little bit more in here, but I think it'll be okay. Shape it the way you would anything else. Now this is where I get a bit, um, fucked because you know it's not in my genetics to roll blunts like this but pretty much just gonna try and seal it as we go like earlier I fucked up this middle part here but we're gonna just try and tuck and roll anyway and this looks terrible. Try and make the mouthpiece more secure, but instantly added like 10 times more dog hair back into the blunt. But if we go ahead and throw it back on, now it's done. Comes out to 1.68. So that means the wrap probably weighed about, can't remember the exact number, like 0.6. Anyway. So boom, there we have our swisher all rolled up. That is the seal line. It looks pretty fucking terrible. Be sure to roast me in the comments. I would say rolling the swisher is fucking harder than rolling it backward for me personally. But um, let me spark this before I talk anymore. Cheers guys. First things first, this little outer layer, no idea what that is, but it's making my blood run. So I'm trying to lick it down, but it's not really happening. 
B. The flavor's not on the entire wrap. When I was licking up here, not sweet at all. It tasted exactly like the other Swishers. When I'm taking a hit, loads of sweetness down here on the mouth end. I don't know if the sweetness is up here because I didn't put that end in my mouth. In fact, I'm trying to get the sweetness off my lips. I have the second Swisher here. I know you're not supposed to, but I'm going to do it anyway. I don't know if that's residual sweetness or whether that's... No, 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 no sweetness. <laughs> no sweetness, um, I think I just ashed on my leg. No sweetness on the, I definitely ashed on my leg that time. No sweetness on the rest of the wrap, just on the mouthpiece. the packaging down the back of my radiator and it hasn't come out the bottom so I can't like reach up and get it and it's not at the top it's just in the middle so I can't reach it it's gone forever we're gonna just um, judge the Swisher diamond on the packaging and pretend that it's red um, it is classic it is eye-catching and yeah it's just a classic brand everybody knows what it is I don't know why I stumbled over my words then so yeah, for packaging, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10, middle of the road. Taste, I'm giving it. I'm not really tasting much. I can definitely taste my bud, which is nice. Got some weed on my tongue. But um, the wrap doesn't taste of anything, it's just vaguely sweet on my lips, which is... It's not really pleasant, it's a little bit off-putting. I don't really like that, so... Uh, for taste, I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna give it a five. It's not the most offensive thing in the world. I've definitely had worse, but... It's just not... It's not great. In my opinion, um, if you're in the UK and... Where is it? and you've tried double platinums, these are just swishers that don't have tobacco in the middle. Like, you don't have to unroll these, which is a plus, you don't have the chance of fucking these up. You're not wasting a bunch of tobacco, and in my opinion, these have a lot more flavor. The flavor's on the, like, the whole of the wrap instead of just on the tip like this. But um, just for comparison, without unraveling it the whole way. That is a double platinum that you can get in the UK for like a pound or one pound 50 in most uh, corner shops, smoke shops, whatever. And this is the Swisher. So basically, a Swisher is just a double platinum that's been rolled up and filled with tobacco. So um, don't waste your money on these if you're in the UK, don't buy the import. If you're gonna do it, do it once, try it. You know, have the experience, like rolling an American bun or whatever, but for me, I wouldn't get a Swishers. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get a Swishers. That was my brain going, I wouldn't get Swishers again, or and I wouldn't get a pack of Swishers, so yeah. I wouldn't get a Swishers again. <laughs> But also, you can't get double platinums in America, as far as I'm aware. So, um, maybe if they came over here and tried a double platinum, they would say that it's just a shit version of a Swisher, and vice versa. But for me, it's just not really hitting. Like, it's, it's a letdown. So I'm gonna give classic Swisher sweets. Imagine that this is a red packet and not a diamond packet. A five out of 10. It's, um, it's, not, it's not terrible but it's not great and if you're in the UK you should just buy a pack of double platinums the 
flavor's better, they're easier to roll, and you're probably not gonna fuck them up and waste your money. So yeah, um, five out of 10. If you like this video, leave a like, leave me a comment. If you're in the UK and you've tried Swishers, or if you're in the US or elsewhere and you've tried double platinums, I'm very curious to know. Subscribe for more videos and peace.